There she is. <clears throat> All right, ladies, we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't have that much more to add. Um, before I was cut off earlier, I was just pointing out that if you go onto Canvas now, if you go into the lab page on Canvas, I'm posting recordings of these Zoom meetings. So if for some reason you can't make a lab some week, you can go onto Canvas and you can watch a recording of the lab. Now I still want you to try your best to come at um, during the meeting itself because it really is the best time for you to come and ask questions or, um, you know, be here live with me. Um, but if for some reason you can't, you can go into Canvas and you can watch um, what happened during the Zoom meeting. Um, I know the last thing you want to do is watch another video, um, but it's there if you need it. Okay. Um, the only other thing I wanted to talk about today, and then I'll let you go, um, I've got the uh, schedule up on the screen for us. Um, I want to remind you that a week from today, so April 8th, is your next lecture exam. And that'll take place at the regular time for um, lecture meetings, 2 o'clock. Um, and again, you'll be sitting down and taking that exam on Canvas, the way you would take a quiz. Um, I also want to point out that when we get together on Monday next week for lab, um, it'll be sort of a question and answer time. Um, we don't have a lab to go through in the manual on that day, according to our schedule. Um, so instead, if you have any questions about the material for the exam, for Wednesday's exam next week, um, we can talk about those questions at that time. Or if you have any questions about any of what we've been doing in the lab manual, um, we can talk about that at that time. So we'll still have lab on Monday, but we will um, devote it to questions and answers. So it'll probably just be that four o'clock meeting on Monday. We we'll have the lecture exam on Wednesday next week. Um, and then the lab that day um, is cellular respiration. You can see on the schedule. And then that brings us up to, for lab anyway, this unknown micro project. Um, so we'll spend some time on Zoom talking about that project. Um, that's um, quite a ways away though. That's not until April 13th. So um, don't worry, don't worry about that quite yet. Um, I also want to mention while I have you that I'm going to be going through the first draft of your pathogen paper this weekend. So I should have those back to you um, early next week. So um, look for those to come to you on Canvas and I'll provide you with comments on your draft that you can use as you um, rework it, you know, revise it for your final uh, copy. Um, 
Sarah's asking if I'm going to post a study guide for you. Yes, I'll post a study guide for you so that you can use that as you prepare for the exam. And remember too that since you're taking the lecture exam at home this time, you're welcome to use your notes. So as you watch the videos, um, the lecture videos on Canvas, take some notes for yourself that would be helpful to you um, during the exam. Okay. Other questions? Other questions about anything, anything at all, stuff we've been talking about, um, lecture, lab. Okay. So, um, Hard time finding a video. Um, hold on, hold on, Sarah. Let me pull up our schedule for just a second and think about which video you might be talking about. So up on Canvas, I'm uh, sorry, up on YouTube, in terms of the lecture videos, um, the video for today is the, um, it's listed as microbial genetics and it's DNA replication and mutations. And remember, when you go up on our YouTube channel, you're gonna be looking for videos that have the heading of bio 205R. And then I try to label them exactly what the lecture is. Um, so you can find those. I know there's a lot of material in that channel and there's, Nothing I can do about that really, because um, I'm teaching so many courses right now. But you should be able to hone in on our videos by looking at, um, by looking for the Bio 205 label. Hold on just a second, I'm just pulling up the channel now. <clears throat> So the question is about Monday's, Monday's videos. Hold on just a second. So that would have been microbial metabolism part two for Monday this week. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna see if I can, um... yes, I can certainly make a playlist um, on the channel if that would be helpful for you. I'll do that, okay, I'll make a, bio 205R playlist on the channel so you can um, pull into those. So Sarah, you're looking for um, the lectures from Monday, is that right? The microbial metabolism part two, is that right? Um, let me know over chat. So um, I'm just scrolling in the YouTube channel and um, you can see right here, there are, these are listed as microbial metabolism part two, and there's four of them for that lecture. Oh yeah, yeah, this is why I need to do the playlist because as you can see, <laughs> there's another micro class and it starts with pH, pH 240. Yeah, that's a class I teach at Keene State. So if you accidentally looked at that lecture, you may have had a problem taking the quiz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. Um, so yeah, look for that bio 205 for our lectures. 
Okay. And the other thing is um, sometimes, as you can see, um, they're out of order. So you have to pay attention where it says number two of four or number one of four. Um, so you're getting them in order again. But I'll put that playlist together. Okay. Anything else? Oh, the lab manuals. So um, the, the way I grade the lab manuals won't change. If you go into the syllabus for the course, um, the lab manuals are graded on, um, well, each lab is worth five points. Each lab exercise that we do is worth five points. And I grade it, you either get a five, a 3.5, a two, or a zero. And it's based on um, how complete your work is. So I don't generally take points off if you tried to answer a question, but you got it wrong. That's not really where I'm taking points off. I'm taking points off primarily if you're not answering the questions, okay? So that's why I wanna urge you as we go through these labs to try to sit down shortly after the lab and answer the questions. Um, and if you can't answer something, just jot it down. And the next time we have one of these lab meetings, you can ask the question then. Um, and then, um, just as we have done previously, when we get to the next practical exam time, which is later in April, um, what I'll have you do is um, take your lab manual, you know, sometime over that week, essentially, and drop it at Cheshire House for me. Um, and what I'll do is, because I'm not sure how long people will be staffing Cheshire House, but I'll be sure that if there's nobody there to take your lab manual, there'll be a box for you to put it in, okay? Um, I honestly don't know if Cheshire House is still open. Um, I know they were trying to keep it open a few hours, a few days a week, but I'm not sure if it's still open right now because as you know, the governor is sort of um, clamping down on anybody being at work right now, so. Um, but we'll, we'll work it out. We'll, we'll, get, um, we'll get something set up so that you can drop off your lab manual and not have to come in contact with anybody. Um, and then um, I also want to point out that that last project, the, what's called the unknown microbe experiment, I don't, it's just going to be our last lab exercise. That's all it is. And even though it says on the schedule that you're doing a lab report for that, it's just, um, you know, you're, you're just answering questions in your lab manual. Um, so it's not, it's not a project. It's just another lab. And essentially, we're going to be taking some data and about a, an unknown microbe. We're going to look at test results. And you're going to figure out, using uh, Bergley's manual, you're going to figure out what you think that microbe is. Now that we have all of these different types of tests that we know how to do, we can't actually perform them right now. But I can give you test results. And then you can go to the manual, to the key in the manual, and you can try to figure out which microbe you have as your unknown. Okay, so it's not a big project or anything. It's just the last exercise that we do. Okay. Um, anything else while we are together? All right. Very good. All right. So, um, you can look for your first draft of your pathogen paper early next week. And we will meet on Monday for lab, but it will be as a sort of question and answer period. So if you have an opportunity, 
um, make a list for yourself of anything you want me to review for you or talk about um, in lab regarding the lecture material and the lab material too, if you have any questions about that, okay? And um, if there aren't any other questions, I'm gonna let you go. And we'll see you again next week. All right? All right, everybody, be safe, stay well. We'll see you next time.